Hey guys, welcome back to Wings Lecture. This is Vetri. In this video, we are going to see about binary search. Binary search is a one of the efficient searching strategy among other searching strategy. Okay, uh, when we uh, were comparing with other linear search and other searches, the time complexity and space complexity is lesser than the other strategies. Okay, and in binary search, we are going to apply divide and conquer method. to filter the data from the given elements okay so here we having some uh, key notes so we are going to start our problem we are going to take a look uh, about these factors okay first one is key key which is nothing but the element which is going to be search okay and mid mid is simple okay so the mid value from the available data see here i have the elements okay so let's make the element in array then give the index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and then so left and right the point is l and r okay so which is the left most data from the array and right most data from the array l and r okay so we have which one is the left most data on index 0 and right most data on index 6 so the formula for calculating mid value is mid is equal to floor of left plus right divided by 2 okay so just apply the value left value index value is 0 plus 6 divided by 2 it's going to be 6 by 2 and the value is 3 right so the mid position is on index 3 so it's going to be the mid right and after that we are having some specific conditions to filter the data uh, the situations are the conditions are if the key value is less than mid or greater than mid or equal to mid okay so when we doing the example you will know about it so before going to that uh, let me explain the pre condition of binary search the which one is very very important and the pre condition is the given element should be sorted right the given set of elements should be sorted one right so if it is not sorted before going to apply the binary search so you have to apply any strategy sorting algorithms so you have to first sort the array okay sort the given element uh, it it has to be in incremental order okay then only we can go for binary search okay see so now we have completed all the basic operations we were going to start our problem so let me explain the function okay so how we are going to deal the situation if we are having like this right okay so let me explain uh initially i am taking the l value as 0 which means the starting index and r value as 6 it's going to be n minus 1 okay so then first check i'm i'm first take the key value so i'm going to take the key value as 50 i'm going to search 50 from this array okay now the conditions are if key is equal to equal to take this array as a okay array of mid right so in the very first step if we got the location for example 50 is here means on very step first step we can find the data all right but obviously here it's not okay so if it's not if it is satisfy means we have to print the mid value return mid else again go for the search if it is not equal means definitely it has to be less than or greater than right so here see 50 is less than or greater than 
So first apply the condition. Key is less than of mid value. So what you have to do? See here, or is equal to mid minus one. So when we doing the example, you will know clearly about it. Okay. So what you have to do is, or uh, you have to change the or value mid minus one. Then else simply key is greater than mid value means we have to change the left pointer into here. Okay. Mid plus one. So let me explain now. See, I'm going to search 50 from here. Okay, from 50 from this uh, element. See, uh, just find out up, as per the condition, the given condition, the key value is 50, right? Mid value is 31. So it's failed to satisfy, right? It's not equal. Then go for whether I'm checking that whether the uh, the given key value is less than or greater than the middle value. See again go for search here. See 50 is uh, not less than 31 right. Again it's failing to satisfy this condition. Then definitely there has to be another case of this condition right. That is that is which is nothing but this condition. If key is greater than mid value. So what I have to do. I have to change my left pointer to a next location of mid value. See, simply uh, from the diagram, from the given array, so easily I can identify, right? So I'm going to find out the 50. Then I'm starting from 31, which is mid value. If it is not, mid is not, uh, not a key value, that means searching value. Obviously, on the left part of the array, I cannot find the data, right? Because mid is not equal as well as mid is great. Uh, the key value is greater than mid. So definitely there is no use on searching this area of the array, right? So definitely I'm going to skip this area and I'm going to change my left pointer to here. Okay, that's it. So this is what the function, this is how the function is going to work, right? So let me explain with this example, okay? Okay, so first step, the key value is 50 and I'm going to find out, already I have found the mid value, just I'm checking the given value 50 is greater than 31. Just go for the condition here, L is equal to mid plus 1. So just change the L value from here to there and skip all this data. Okay. I'm going to take only this uh, three data just for your reference. Okay. I'm using another array 48, 50 and 61. The locations are 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now again, you have to find out the mid value. Okay. So here still we just filter the data but we didn't find the data right so again go for start from this function okay so find out the mid value mid is equal to floor of l plus or divided by 2 here l value is 4 and r value is 6 and divided by 2 10 by 2 is going to be 5 right so the mid value is in the location of 5 okay so this is going to be mid here check the condition key value is 50 and mid value is 50 so it's satisfying here okay so in very second comparison in very second comparison we form the data from the array, from the given list of data, right? So it's satisfied. We found the data at location 5, okay? So this is how the whole searching process is getting simplified when we try, when we are using binary search, when we comparing with other searching strategy, especially linear search. So just compare yourself 
if uh, if i am using linear search for this uh, so problem means so how many searching will take place one first i have to, I, I will start the searching from first data i mean beginning of the list okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 on the sixth comparison only i'll get the answer i mean the location okay i'll found the data but here on the second step first i have checked with this middle value and then on second search i have found the value right so in very in two steps i have found it so that this is how the time complexity is less when we comparing with other searching strategy okay so simple the whole concept is first you have to fix the left and right pointer so here it's not actually exactly pointers the location okay the leftmost location and rightmost location and then you have to find out the mid value and then you got start comparing the mid value with the given key data the like data which is going to be searched okay so if uh, here we have three condition if it is satisfied the key value is matched with the mid value then we can stop the process that there it's not if it is less than or greater than means so we have to change our location r and l location okay then after you have again you have to find out the mid value until we are reaching it right so if you are not uh, getting the result completely after processing after checking the whole data it's not available means so obviously we'll get the result as at a very uh, third or fourth step right so that's it for this problem okay so if i'm searching our example 71 then what will happen here key value is 71 means mid value is 50 so obviously what will be order order that will happen or will move to to the l will go to our next location of mid value right l is equal to mid plus 1 so here is the mid and mid plus 1 is going to be here and l and r in same location then see what will happen 60 sorry for finding out the mid value 6 plus 6 by 2 is going to be 12 by 2 right again we will we'll be in position 6 so again we i will compare with the mid value then mid will become on sixth position again compare with uh, key value as with uh, uh, mid value again it's, we are failing to found the data so the whole process will stop there okay so that's it and uh, the main important uh, factor of binary search which is uh, you have to keep your eye on finding the mid value and then the locations the location of r and right r and uh, l as per the condition okay so i already explained that three condition mid value is equal mid value is less than the key value mid value is greater than the key value right so these are the three simple condition so from the uh, given data it's from the given data itself we know that and we know that where we are going to uh find the data the location is going to be right so somehow you have to make the all these functional uh, functional elements right so that's it i hope you understood the logics very well and if you have any doubts you can comment in comment section and if you are not subscribed yet subscribe now and keep support thanks you